Well, good morning. Welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here. I know people have traveled some from long distances to get here, some from across the street. So welcome to all. We're glad you're here. We hope we have a great day planned for you. Um, I can't believe that this is our ninth uh, consecutive user conference. Uh, it's been nine years. That's, it's been great. We do have a full day planned for you today. Um, and hopefully there'll be something for everyone. If you have more than one person in your organization, certainly talk to them about going to different presentations so you can all report back and share what's, what's happened. Uh, if you look at your program, you'll find today's agenda. Um, and there, there should include the sessions, descriptions, schedules, a map of the rooms, uh, for each of the presentations. Also, if you're interested, you can download the, the SIPA My Events to Go. It's available on Droid or Apple. So if you're more into a technology agenda, we, we suggest you do that. There is a wireless connection, and there should be on, on all of the counters uh, the login information for that. If you, if you need help with that, seek out one of our uh, SIPA employees and they can help you with it. At 12.15, we'll, we'll break to grab a boxed lunch, um, and that's gonna be kind of down the hallway here towards room C and F. So grab your boxed lunch. Uh, we'll take a quick break and then we'll be back in this room for our keynote speaker. Uh, we're we're g gathered in room 1D, but also for the, the lunchtime speaker, we will simulcast that presentation in rooms C and E as we are doing this morning with this presentation. Want to invite you at 4.15, we will we'll, uh, adjourn from the conference itself and go to the atrium, which is located in the north end of the building. There'll be a reception there. Uh, there'll be some appetizers and some beverages that might include adult beverages. So uh, we, we hope that you can. <laughs> Applause already. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so join us for that. It's usually a very fun, fun situation where we'll be giving out our, our grants at that point. We'll have some of our legislators join us for that presentation as well. Again, thanks for coming. I wanted to give a, a very brief overview of, of SIPA, who we are and, and what we, we do. Uh, but I would like to say at the beginning that if you are here for the first, first time or if you are still saying, what in the heck is SIPA and what do they do? Um, we'll be giving a more in-depth presentation following this presentation in room 1F. So I suggest that, again, if you're here for the first time or have questions about who we are or maybe who our portal integrator is, join us in 1F right after this presentation. Um, Want to thank uh, folks who, who have helped put this together, and in particular, the amazing work from my staff. You can't imagine how much work goes into putting on one of these presentations. Um, those of you who know Mike Watley yesterday, there was Mike putting tissue around gifts and being very domestic. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole staff has worked very, very hard. Uh, Catherine Kunst is here. She's our chief operating officer. Wave your hand, Catherine. We've heard from Mike Watley. Um, Kim, Diane, and Jamie are in other rooms, but if you have an opportunity to run into them, thank them for their, their hard work. The Bill Hobbs is here also somewhere, so say hi to Bill as well. Most of today was as a result of our marketing person, uh, Beth Justice. Beth, wave your hand. Let's give Beth some applause. 
Okay, let's talk a little bit about SIPA, one of my favorite topics. Um, first of all, we'll, we'll talk about our sponsors here right after this, this short presentation, but today would not be possible at all if it hadn't been for our, our sponsors, so we really want to thank them, and I'll do that in, a, in another moment. Um, generally, overview, SIPA dates back to 2004. We are an authority, so we're not a state agency. We're an authority, um, and an authority reports to a board rather than either the legislature or the governor's office. We, a year ago, decided that, that we needed a purpose statement and I, I really love this, this purpose statement saying we're improving the quality of life in Colorado by connecting the public to efficient services through technology. And here's the, the key, enabling governments to focus on their core missions. So our job around the perimeter is to help governments of all types focus on their core mission and we can help along the way. This is our, our current board, and of course we just had an election, so many of our board members are brand new. Uh, we have, I think, seven brand new board members, uh, and I think we may have a new, another new board member in the near, near future. It's exciting to have some fresh ideas on, on the SIPA board, and they really direct our, our vision, our mission, where we're headed. Um, so if you see any of our board members here today, I don't think any of them are here in the room, but we'll see them from time to time. Again, take the time to introduce yourself to our board members and say hi. Here is kind of a brief map of who SIPA serves across the state of Colorado. So we, we certainly represent state government and state agencies but we also represent local governments, so that's counties, municipalities, special districts. We represent K through 12 public education, not private, but public. And we also work with public universities and colleges, so our span is great in terms of who we work with. Some of what we do is at virtually no cost to government. So some of the services that we are, we're looking at is payment processing. Many of you use us for payment processing, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. We also have an online form generating product. That we have agencies and local government that is interested in putting online an electronic form that may just require information or might even be a transaction where someone is paying for something online, and that's a free service that, that we offer as well. Um, if you hold your own events like this, uh, event registration is a, a free thing that we supply to state and local government as well. And of course, websites are, are one of the things that we, we offer both state and local government. Many state agencies use us. Uh, the governor and lieutenant governor use us for their website. A uh, brand new governor's website is going to launch in the next few days. We're excited about that. Um, and we'll talk more about websites, but a couple of things about websites. One, they're 508 compliant, which is important in this day and age. Um, they're, they're mobile accessible, which is great. They're secure. and. Every single year, websites that we're providing government free of charge are winning national awards, and in fact, four of our websites this year will be receiving a national award for the website. So it's not just a secure website, but we're, we're providing award-winning websites as well. You know, we, we go all, all around about is cost more important, is security more important, and, and the answer probably is yes. Uh, it's, it's a combination of those things that are important. It is important to understand that we are doing everything in our power to protect both the citizens of the state of Colorado and 
local government in terms of all of the products that we offer. Um, we carry our own general liability insurance. We require our vendors to do the same. Uh, we carry our own $5 million policy in cyber insurance. Uh, we have breach protection in terms of that. Uh, something newly uh, contracted with our portal integrator you know, in this day and age, we do everything in our power not to have a breach with payment processing, but looking out into the real world, you can't believe that it's never going to happen. So newly contracted with our integrator is the fact that if there is a breach based on what state legislation says is a breach, every citizen who is involved will do credit monitoring for them for one year at no charge to the citizen. Pretty spectacular. In addition to that, those of you who work with us in regards to our portal integrator, whether it's a website or payment processing or online forms, if you have an EGE with us, eligible government entity, uh, and you've got either a, a work or task order with us, uh, our new contract says that our portal integrator will name your agency or your local government as an additional insured on their insurance policy. So again, we're doing everything in our power to protect not only citizens, but agencies and local government as well. Um, we've, we follow or exceed the, the state's security requirements on, on our products and we maintain the highest level of PCI compliance. Our list of vendors grows every year. Some of that is thankful to you. We, we hear from our government partners that you're looking for a vendor in a particular area, and so we respond and try to find a vendor that fills the need. Please take an opportunity to speak with our vendors today, see what they have to offer. Uh, they're in rooms A and B, uh, along with goodies, full time, so go there for coffee, juice, et cetera, et cetera, but uh, also take time to, to visit with our vendors. Um, we talked a little bit about uh, the morning and lunch keynote speakers are in 1D with streaming again in rooms 1C and E. Um, I talked about downloading the app. Certainly if you have questions about that, do so, but it's pretty slick way to get up-to-date information on today's conference. Did talk about a reception afterwards. It will we'll adjourn at 4.15. The awards presentation will, will take place at 4.30. Um, be there, the Lou Gator Micro Grant Award, it's the first time we awarded that. Lou was a member of our board starting in 2015, and tragically last year, Lou passed away from cancer. He, he was a commissioner in Larimer County, and so we're giving a special award in his honor this year. His wife, Jeanette, will actually be here to hand out the award, so that will be fun. Vendor bingo, all right. So you should get a form that has nine vendors on it, um, and we, we ask you to just get a signature for each of those nine vendors. Then at our reception, starting at 4.15, we will pull out one of those bingo cards, and we have three awards this year. Uh, we have a set of Apple EarPods, we have an Echo Spot, and somebody will win a Google Home Hub. So pretty neat awards that we'll hand out must be present to win. So come, have an adult beverage with us, and uh, I think you'll enjoy the presentation. So that really concludes my, my quick little overview. I do wanna thank our sponsors before we get with our keynote speaker. Um, first, I want to recognize our gold sponsor, Revision, our silver sponsor, Five Nine, um, and I also want to thank the great folks from Open Media who are here. Wave Open Media folks at the back of the room. Uh, they're doing all of the live streaming and so forth for us, and, and we, we really appreciate their help. 